the key in a lot of these agility drills is, first, is you don't want to be looking down all the time. So it's fine when you first start to make sure that you're in you know, the boxes, but the boxes are primarily here to give you a guideline. If you step on, the, on it, it's, you're not failing. But then the next step of that is to see if you can do it with your head up and your back straight. So you don't have the shoulders rotated ro 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 forward. The next step as you get better is to make sure that you're getting into your knees, that you're not standing straight up and doing your agility drill where it's like. And the last piece is trying to make sure that you're actually dropping the end of this step. Instead of reaching, point right at the spot a little bit and push your hip right into it. So what's happening is I'm here, I'm leaning into this spot. Oh, I better push my, get my foot there because I'm gonna fall down. The, that's the drop step. So, so the idea is that you're feeling your body lead you into your, into your steps instead of your feet leading you into your steps. Try to make sure that when you're doing these, especially these drop steps, whenever you end up, try to make sure you're back in your stance. My suggestion in ladder drills is that you try to keep pointed forward because that's the way the ladder is going. Uh, it's much harder if you're in a long stance, but not impossible. I could put it here and then I could be right here. There's, there's a longer stance. No big deal. So try to, these, these can be modified. They're just a guideline to help with your feet to be more agile on the field. You're more comfortable with movement and more balance in your body. So hopefully that helps you.